let's do something uh, light, shall we? For Mohammed Awudu, art is not just a money-making venture, but an opportunity to showcase his country, Ghana, to the whole world. He's also inspiring other young people to do the same. This Ghana month, we celebrate one of Ghana's successful, versatile, fine artists on the Joy Business Van. Here's a story of Mo Awudu. It's a few days to Ghana's Independence Day celebration and somewhere at Jamestown in Accra, Mohamed Awudu, a versatile fine artist, is busy at work. He's been contracted by a beverage company, Guinness Ghana, to do one of the things he loves the most, street art. Today, he's telling Ghana's independence story from his perspective and what he wants to see of the country in future. This is what Mohammed, who works under the signature name Mo, does for a living. Mo was born and raised in the Zongo community of Nima. He discovered his artistic skills very early and he pursued it. I was very young, around the age of nine, yeah, nine or ten years back in primary school. So after my uh, junior high, I enrolled to an art college. So I started discovering that I can make money from art. So from there I used to do paintings, take, it, take them to art center, sometimes at the exhibition. That's what I used to pay my fees and all that. So from there, I think I've been doing art every day. But as more progressed, being an artist became more than a money-making venture, but an opportunity to rebrand and affect his community. He called it Reimagine Nima. I try to uh, uh, put the different cultures that we have in Nima so that people outside will have a better perce a per perception about us rather than hearing it from other people. So from there, I think last year I had more than 50 or 100, uh, 100 tourists from all over the world. And now people are free to come to Nima. Most street art in his community is what would shoot up his career. More people started noticing it, and not too long, he would be exhibiting his graffitis at one of Ghana's popular art festivals, Chaluote. Every year at Chaluote, my work I think stands out. When you go around town, when you come like around Jamestown, Nima, when you go to so all these places, when you go there, you find my works and people call me and say uh, thank you more for uh, giving us part of you. So I feel like, and I make a lot of like, I get a lot of like contracts to these days that I do for people and I feel like so proud. Mo has become one of the most sought after artists by corporate entities like Samsung and international bodies like UNICEF. His skill has also opened international doors. And now, Mo considers himself an ambassador for Ghana, projecting the country in a very positive light to the international community. Yeah, now people, people come to Nima uh, to, to, to learn our ways, our culture, because Nima is made up of all different kind of people from different backgrounds, Muslim, Christian, yeah, traditionalists, everybody can have everybody there. So now people begin to come there and listen to our story. People come there to bring our business. But the industry still has a long way to go, he tells me, from poor appreciation of art to the lack of support from government. He believes there is more potential that can be tapped. When you look at our overpass, our city is dry. Is right, all they put is Ghana flag. We need to put represent our history on the world. We need to encourage, know that we have culture. Art is one big thing, it's bigger than music, but people don't know. It's the most, it's the most expensive thing in the world. And if you thought that street art doesn't fetch money, our research shows an artist could earn between 3,000 and 60,000 Ghana cities for a good art piece or even more. Mo hopes to raise more artists in his community and is looking forward to executing more international projects.